Welcome back to Geek School, guys. Today we're gonna to be doing a video about no sound from a T, uh, your laptop to HDMI or your desktop to HDMI. Uh, seems like a lot of people wanted me to make this video about on Windows 10. Now uh, we got over 200,000 views on this video, so I'm gonna get started. So first thing we need to go is to Control Panel. So on your Windows 10, go ahead and click on Start and type in Control Panel, or other another option is right click on start and you should be able to see control panel so whichever way it's easier for you uh, let's get there if, if your settings are not looking like that uh, just because they're probably in category mode so either you can switch them to small or large icons and uh, <clears throat> after that uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go to sound settings so once we're here as you guys can see you cannot see my TV HDMI uh, basically option so what you can do right here is we're gonna right click and click on show disabled devices so we're just gonna show any any disabled that you might have disabled by mistake and we're also gonna click on show disconnected device now as you guys can see right here that shows my TV right here so once I plug it in make sure it's not disabled now if you haven't had it disabled like this and if you didn't have the show disabled devices it will not show up but again there it is so now go ahead and plug in your HDMI cable and see if this resolves your issue. If not, please go ahead and continue for uh, further with the video. So next thing, what you what you need to do if you're not getting sound from here is you need to go ahead and check um, basically uh, driver updates and Windows update for your manufacturer. Uh, so what we're gonna do is check Windows update. To do that, go ahead and click on Start button and type in type in check up uh, check for updates and click Enter and right here you should be able to hit check for updates and it will go through the cycle and tell you if there are any pending updates or anything that needs to be done again that's just this shows you right here that when was the last time it was checked but if you want to make sure that is that is right so you just click on that and check for updates now if this does not resolve your issue then the next step we need to uh, do is uh, furthermore move towards troubleshooting this furthermore so we we'll need to so let's say if you have HP, Dell, any kind of laptop right here. So we're gonna go to this particular website. So my I have HP laptop. Or you will probably need either the model number or the serial number of the device. Basically, if if your if your machine matches any of these, so I will post this in the description. So you don't have guys have to copy paste or you know pause the video and look at these. But what we're gonna do is basically gonna go to your manufacturer's website and uh, type in your uh, model number and basically mine is. Pro book, you know, Pro book 4530s. Yes. So we're gonna go there. It's gonna pull up your device basically at this point. Uh, right now, looks like it's not finding mine, uh, but it should you should be able to. Uh, there it was actually Pro book. So we're gonna go here and look for drivers specifically for. Uh, sound drivers or audio drivers and we're gonna make sure that your computer has the latest drivers uh, for this so th this here we go is the option for HP now if you go to Dell Asus it's gonna it's gonna follow the same procedure here uh, so it's gonna ask you to select your operating system basically uh, now the, the good part is if you don't see Windows 10 listed in your in your specific criteria then you need to select either windows 8.1 or windows 8 uh, basically the closest one that is the newest uh, OS so basically right now is 8.1 or 8 uh, so that kind of solves your issue and you can download the driver and the 32 bit and 64 bit if you want to resolve that issue then go ahead and type in system in your box and you should be able to see the system icon and if you click there it will tell you if it's 32 bit or 64 bit right here it tells you right here if it's 64 bit operating system or 30 32 bit so basically you can select one of these so mine 64 bit so I'm gonna go to go with 8.1 and basically go down here and there's a driver chipset so both download both of these and install both of these and at this point if that does not resolve your issue then what we're going to do is check check for a bad cable and if you're certain that the cable works then we'll, the last resort that we're going to have to do is keep your um, keep your HDMI cable plugged into your laptop into your TV and meanwhile doing that go ahead and restart your machine now to restart I'm not going to go ahead and restart my machine right now but to do that all you got to do is click on start keep your cable plugged in and power and restart so what this does is it rec the machine recognizes there's a HDMI port plugged into the machine. So while it boots up, it looks for the driver, and it kind of try to tries to resolve 
the issue by its, by itself at that point um, so basically that's all for this video guys uh, but uh, I want you to go ahead and make sure you guys like hit the like and subscribe button for this video and if this video guys have helped you out here make sure you don't forget to support the channel right uh, now I just started uh, fan funding on my channel so you can either support by dollar five dollar and up to five hundred dollar um, contribution to the channel so you know I can continuously try to make these videos and get the better quality and um, better support for you guys out there and if you guys have any you know questions or concern please just give me a shout in the comments and uh, if you guys run into any anything else please please just let me know so I can get a result for you guys again thanks thanks for watching guys and uh, peace out